So, Squid Game, a show that has nothing to do with actual squids or anything squid related you might find in other various anime. You've probably already heard about Squid Game or even finished watching it and in that case that knowledge will be very useful for this video so good job. And if you haven't heard about Squid Game, to put in the most basic of explanations, it's about this guy who's in crippling debt that keeps on growing until he gets a chance to play in this secretive game to earn money. Squid Game. Again, it doesn't have anything to do with actual squids. The MC along with many others like him play children's games in order to gain funds to pay back their debt. If you win, you get money. If you lose, you die. In the most simplest of terms, that is what Squid Game is. Now, before even having watched Squid Game, an anime that popped up in my gigantic beautiful dome that which I call my head is Kaiji, a very similar work to Squid Game. Some would even say they're uh, too similar. Kaiji is a show about, well, Kaiji, who's also in debt and is given a chance to pay off that debt by playing gambling games. Games like pachinko, cards, rock, paper, scissors, tarot card game thing, etc, etc. Not so much children's games, but hey, they are games that determine Kaiji's livelihood, so potato, potato. You might have already noticed that Squid Game, at the very least, took inspiration from Kaiji. I won't go as far as to say that Squid Game straight up copied Kaiji, which came out over a decade prior, as Squid Game isn't an anime. The characters are obviously not the same, and the games are very different in both shows. Kaiji having more psychological mind games, while Squid Game having children games played by adults, adding to this nostalgic creepy factor it had going throughout the show. But the similarities simply don't stop there, and that's the point of this video. Is Squid Game a knockoff of Kaiji? Before that, I implore you to subscribe and turn on that bell notification thing to hear my majestic voice every time I upload. Which is not that often, but still. Please, please subscribe. Anyway, let's start. The first similarity I want to talk about is the characters, more specifically the main characters, Kaiji and Gi Hun. By the way, I will not say the names correctly because I am a dumbass, but I am sorry. Both of these characters are cowards. Now I understand that this point sounds absolute dog water by itself, but hear me out. Gi Hun first gets entangled with his whole Squid Game shenanigans when he meets the businessman in the subway. There he plays children's games and eventually wins money and a chance to participate in Squid Game. Similarly, Kaiji goes into debt after being put as a guarantor for a loan by his friend that suddenly disappeared. He then gets the chance to go on a ship to play gambling games in order to pay back his debt. From the start of both shows, both MCs start off at rock bottom. Their tasks start off as simple as can be, participate and win money. As both series goes on, they both learn that their circumstances aren't as straightforward as they once thought. Gi-hun and Kaiji are both written to be underdog characters, in other words characters that you'd underestimate but somehow they survive against all odds, like cockroaches that refuse to back down and like the mold under the carpet of your laundry floor. I don't know why I gave such specific examples, but sure. The setup to a pathetic and weak MC that rides their luck and somehow perseveres till the end isn't an all that unique character trope, albeit most shows don't do it that well, but compared to Gi-hun and Kaiji, it's quite apparent that Huang Dong-hyuk, once again I messed up the name, the director of Squid Game, was mimicking Kaiji. Where else would you find a weak MC that isn't particularly skilled, strong, or even smart? The only thing they have is their will to live. They somehow manage to ride their destinies till the end and somehow make it out alive. I can keep drawing parallels between Kaiji and Gi-hun all day. Well, at least a few more minutes if I wanted to. But that's not the point of this video. I mean, it is, but also not. I won't discredit the director of Squid Game for taking inspiration from Kaiji and another manga which I will talk about in a little bit. I want to set it straight that copying isn't bad at all. It's a good thing. It's even more impressive if you're able to take the essence of a show and create an entire new world from it, which the director did. I'm not the biggest art junkie, which is not a relevant fact for this video, but Picasso once said that good artists borrow while great artists steal, so yeah. Anyway, like I mentioned prior, there's another manga that I feel that Squid Game mimics to a sense, and that manga is Liar Game. I explained Liar Game in a video I made over a year ago now, so uh, here's that scene. Liar Game follows Kanzaki now, a medical student with a sick father. She one day receives a box with 100 million yen and the invitation to the Liar Game. 
Not knowing what to do, she joins and upon joining the game, her opponent steals her money. She has to ask the help of Shinichi Akiyama, an ex-convict who took down an entire multi-million dollar company with his mind games. This begins the partnership of Akiyama and Kanzaki as they move up each stage of the liar game, each time getting harder with more at stake. They don't necessarily have to win each stage, but they certainly can't lose any of them. Honestly, the liar game is probably my favorite manga. I, I don't know why I sounded like a fourth grader, but I did. And so what? The similarity I want to draw between Squid Game and Liar Game is the setting and the manner of the games. The various games in Liar Game are in secluded unknown places, much like the setting for Squid Game. These places include abandoned movie theaters, warehouses, hotels, etc, etc. The participants in Liar Game are also often gassed or blindfolded in order to not reveal the locations. Unlike Kaiji, the games in Liar Game consist of elimination games focused around many people rather than the individual games that Kaiji plays. A lot. Squid Game of course focuses more on group games as well that can be played with many people as compared to individual games. Though Liar Game has more psychological based games and Squid Game obviously does not, the games are also very bring out the same essence in human beings. The games consist of a lot of betrayals and also a lot of fucked up things that also happen in Squid Game. Of course, if I wanted to explain more, I'd be spoiling Liar Game or Squid Game, whichever one you watched or not. So I cannot really delve into these games, but also just the games are very similar, just take my word for it. Another thing I wanted to point out is the mask. If you didn't know, the people who help run the squid game have a hierarchy. The shapes you get on your mask determines what your job is. Circle masks are pretty much the lowest ranking, the answer to their superiors which is everyone, they only speak when spoken to. Next comes the triangles. The triangles are pretty much what you call the soldiers. They only listen to the square masks who are essentially the bosses within the workers group. They keep both the triangles and the circles in line. Of course, all pink suited workers have to listen to the front man who has a very different looking mask, if you couldn't tell by the visuals. I wanted to point this out because in the liar game, the workers and admin also wear a mask. However, the difference is, that there's no apparent mark on the mask that determines their hierarchy. But still, you'll come to understand that everyone wearing a unique looking mask are pretty important people as you keep reading the manga. So in conclusion, I think that the director of Squid Game took inspiration from Kaiji and Liar Game. Of course, he still do the credit that he's due. Again, I have nothing against the director. It's a good thing that anime and manga like Kaiji and Liar Game, who aren't the most popular series out there, can still be a point of inspiration for such a big show. Anyway, subscribe, please like the video, have a great day or night, whatever, bye.